Hello and welcome back. And it's time to have a little chat with whoever uh, has an exclamation mark over their head. Oh yeah, that looks good. <laughs> oh, Bolson's workshop. Oh, you guys have got some uh, quests or maybe stuff for me? Wow, are these... I've heard stories about these machines, but I've never seen one up close. Um... It looks pretty good, but the head kind of looks a little silly. Um, huh. We're on the page of the codex, but do we find new recipes this way? Oh, what is that? Oh, I can reach my cabinet from over here. Huzzah! Be amazed! There are no other technical marvels like them in this world. Yeah, they are quite remarkable. Did you make these yourself? My name is Volsung, and this is my workshop. Yeah, my faithful servants are the handiest. Have you ever met a golem before? A golem? Come on, Lyric, stop playing dumb! Ha! I'm not surprised. You humans don't have the same knack for engineering as we do. There's a lot of complex tech running underneath uh, the hood of these Thin Man. The inside compartment is made out of... Um... Well, <clears throat> you're quite the handyman. How do they work? These superior golems are powered by my special brand of engineering and a bit of Silvani hedge magic. They run on enchanted apples. Too bad Stalindra won't help me anymore. If you excuse me, I have work to do. Okay! That's it! I kinda expected more. Hi, team man. How are you doing? Chug a chug. Was that it? I see you're eyeballing my furnace. She's real beauty, eh? It doesn't look like a normal warm furnace. Inai, I call it Sindri. I can craft anything here, ranging from golem parts to my favorite jackalope stew. I have something <clears throat> I'm something of an aspiring craftsman, so I find it to be very interesting. I did not realize it I was in the presence of a fellow craftsman. I'd like to see you Eleni work the bellows. Feel free to use the Sindri when I'm not busy with it. Really? I'm not at your level, but that would be great. You have to find your own materials, though. Not enough to go around down here. Just bring what you have here, and the golems will help you. Wow, that's great. That's awesome! I'll bring stuff from time to time, thanks. Damn. In return for all this, I simply want to see your work. Deal? Don't make me regret it, Danny. That's good. I'm sure I can make some good stuff. Not if I only had the right resources. Why you keep selling all of them? They're not much of a... What are you saying, like... Okay, you said that you made a crossbow before, but you just keep selling all the materials for money. You're not really a aspiring craftsman right now. Or, well, you, can you really say that you're an aspiring craftsman? I suppose this is just the reality of the situation. I suppose this is where we can change the districts. And if I actually finished it, then we would be able to choose a different district, unlike now. <clears throat> Still not an easy road. You remember the chill? Well, you always forget to bring your comfy armor. You just go with like casual clothes. And it works. So, he does have a lot of health. Wasper actually has more health. Lyric's uh, vigor is low. Actually, all their vigor is low. No, please, no traps. Oh, that's even worse. Poison everybody! Our awareness is pretty low at this moment. Not much chance of killing people before they act. Which is not great. 
that thing is gonna add up. Damage prevention. With one damage prevention. Made. I guess we might just want to nuke the police. Rip police. Doesn't. Well, she doesn't deal a lot of damage. I might not want to go for the double hit. Especially now. We just hit the Arcaster Ghost, and that should be enough. With the poison. And the maid should die from Bora. Not much point on the buff, especially like that. Died to the poison. Or poison. Yeah, but he does have a lot of health, so at least that is nice. Punch him once. I kind of want to try out this shield thingy that I never use. Let's just defend. One out of one, one out of two. Oh, we still got the punchy fist up. Bully and chip. Maybe. Actually, does, is our carry weight affected by something? Our, our health, maybe? Because now we can carry more stuff. I'm not sure what affects it, but I would just assume that certain characters have more carry weight. And it wouldn't surprise me if uh, uh, characters that have more stats have more carry weight. Been here before. Not completely hopeless. Oh no, Mimic. Boy, did this. this character is extremely good. Not only he finds pretty a good amount of stuff, but also avoids the traps and can be on the melee row. No! Too bigger is not the worst. It's still okay. Look at the old defensive pillows we are finding. I just keep going. I wonder if the uh, the rooms are affected by luck. Not really luck, but uh, slight. <gasps> jeweled box. You find the withered corpse of a woman clutching a jeweled box. It looks as if she died trying to protect the precious contents inside. Your curiosity is piqued, but it doesn't seem appropriate to disturb the dead. Well, we gotta open the box. Uh, Victor, you got the highest stats. You do it. You open the small box, excited to see it, the treasure awaiting you. After lifting the lid, however, you realize the box has betrayed the value of the contents within. The jewels inside have long since faded and lost their luster. Really? That's still pretty good. Five faded jewels? Wait. Isn't this the same thing I'm finding anyway? I mean, I didn't really expect much, but... Like, we found something. Yeah, now we got eight faded jewels. Which is a lot better than three. Some recipes needed, as far as I know. There's not much point trying to explore all the rooms. Oh, this is nice. 
We can just rest. Actually, it makes the most sense to not explore the rooms. And just rush to the next area. Because it seems pretty random. I suppose ultimately it doesn't matter too much. I was never attacked when I was making uh, these attempts. But of course the terror always goes up. Despite the danger. And I've been good! Yeah, just sleepy times. How do I know where to go? Is this the one? I wonder if this helps, camera facing up. Maybe I just get used to it over time. All right, let's go. So it doesn't take too long to go through the areas we already know. This is the hospital. Wow, storage again. Scrap metal. I just take the stuff. Mimic. Big chest. This is a good team. Except maybe the second guy, but... He's not that good. <laughs> I don't know, if I had like another Shadow Man, sir... Maybe I would put him in. No, I, actually, that would be worse than having one Shadow Master, one Knight. But the Knight is not really bringing too much uh, utility to the table, that's for sure. I guess we're just gonna go that way. Please, no. Befuddle for all. <gasps> that would have sucked. We definitely need someone who can avoid the traps. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna poison everybody. I do take some damage from them. This guy's gonna attack last. I wonder how, they, how their damage works. Do they deal damage and spirit damage? Or do they choose? Seems like they choose. Oh, they... Man, shield on everybody. Really? Outdoor engineer. I can kill the rioter. Killing the police would be better. But I can't reach the police. Oh, only free damage? What happened? Isn't he supposed to deal more? Um I don't know if you wanna do the special ability. I wanna do the Borokang. Back. Yeah, let's hit the right after two. Let me do the uh, hit everybody move. Obviously, this only removes their shield. Outdoor engineer can be killed. Police. Cannot be killed at this point. Actually, he can be killed. And he would be a better target. Oh. I suppose that works too. Rip in peace, police. The bard is concerning. Going with the boost. Extra damage. It's a little bit unclear. 
and they take damage. Uh, well, not when they take damage, but how much damage they take. You can check, but you can't see it clearly. I guess we're just gonna finish off the engineer. And nuke the Bard. Unless, unlike in Darkest Dungeon, you can't really heal in a fight, so... Like, dicking around in the fight, trying to stall time, is not an option. Can't help but feel but like these are some decent uh, finds. Maybe not great, but decent. We're not finding wood. Oh. Let's make a deal. But that's all he has? Damn. Okay, let's see what we have. I don't know... Yeah, this is just a terrible item. I'm gonna sell it. What else we got? I don't know about the... Well, it only sells for 80. This has the weight of 1. It has the weight of 2. Bullion chip is not really that valuable. Faded jewels. Scrap metal is heavy. Spectral dust. Ally crystals are heavy. Junk is heavy. How much do I need to sell here? Maybe I sell some faded jewels. Maybe we don't sell everything. Maybe we can craft. But in order to, to do that, we need to get a lot of stuff. So I suppose it's part of the challenge. Actually, we can put it in the chest back home. Oh yeah, I just realized that. We're well, just gonna twist the wall. Wait, we're not choosing who does it? Let's make Bora Kang do it. You twist the valve and hear a soft hiss. The pipe momentarily spews warm air around you before sputtering out. Every feeling of warm was surprising but welcome relief. Bigger four? Okay. That's not that great. No! Please not! Okay. So I suppose that was a low roll. I don't want to have a negative on all my party members. Seems like a very bad idea. Last time we had find less stuff on everybody. I think it affected the loot. But even despite that, we kind of got uh, decent loot. Mimic again. Is it automatic? That we win? Because my... Oh. That's where we want to go. Because my... Uh, my trap avoidance skill is 4 now. Alright. I suppose the difference between 4 and uh, and 3 is like huge, because uh, you avoid traps twice as often, if that is the case. We can, we can just check this craft real carefully. Just gonna pop in, see what the hell is up. Trickster belt is what I already got. We actually need the basic stuff for it, and also a lot of stuff. Divining rod, again, you need... Slight of one, awareness one. So this is not a great choice. Well, this could be an okay choice on the main guy. If he's not doing slight as well, but that is not the case right now. Uh, that would be... So you can 
trade the minus combat perfume for a merchant. Actually, I don't think that's a minus combat perfume in the first place. But still, camping kits. Yeah, I do like this. I do like the idea of this, but it's not necessarily amazing. And we can actually craft this. Who has the? Who's the vest? Does is someone running the vest? Uh, just check it out real quick. So, Lyric has the vest. And, um... Her stats are so bad. That it kind of makes sense. And also we got this whole distribute some points on Lyric thing. Yet, this never works. Because points left zero. If I if I had some points, I would distribute it on on combat, obviously. But actually, yeah, combat. I think Lyric just needs more stats. Should I switch place it with Bora Kang? I don't think that really matters here. But might as well upgrade the fine vest we got. This is very sensible now. If we upgrade it, did it work? Yeah. We equip it on Lyric. We only upgraded the extra one. Not as easy to see. Awareness is now zero. That means she's gonna come uh, very late into the fight. But it didn't. It's not really a a big downside from one. She was also she was already uh, coming extremely late. Well, I guess she's gonna die a little slower. She's more well-rounded now. Not oh, great. That eye is nice. Alright, let's just head out. We need to kick Lyric. He sucks so hard. Where do we want to go, though? Maybe this way? Spa house. Oh yeah, we can use some rest and relaxation. Anyway guys, this is a good time to take a break. Thanks for watching and see you next time.